Right, we're indoors now. So uh, this is Saturday. I'm going to have a look indoors. Uh, Poppy and Tara and Jenny are back in the van. Jenny's looking after the dogs. And uh, so you've got me. I'm going to have a look. See what there is to see. This may well be the problem today. Quite a few are sold. And that was sold on the first day. And that one. This wasn't Carthago. I don't know how many of them are going to be open either. Carthago Sea Tourer. up still. Oh no, oh no, there we go. Let's have a look. Oh, you can see how to switch it on. Oh, we'll leave it. There we go. That's an interesting uh, take on a bed there. Transverse, but all with a walk round round the outside. Hmm. There's the washroom. Circular shower. Very familiar with these Carthagos, you know, having borrowed that Malibu. Uh, same company, really. But very comfy looking seats. Looks like you, I'm not going to say telly's in there, but the remote's there anyway. And drop down bed at the front. We've got in the way of a kitchen. Three burner hob. There's no oven. Now I've got these nice drawers and somewhere to put the little chopping board. This one here goes there. Big, big fridge, our old favourite fridge. There we go. Latch has gone on that one. Mm. You've got like an occasional seat there. So yeah, that's good. That's the sort of thing you'd use the garage for. But yeah, not quite a big garage. Because you've got all the tie downs as well. You've obviously got an awning in here. The electrics are in there. It looks like there's a little shelf something over there. Yeah, quite a handsome looking motorhome. Got coach style mirrors. Seventy one thousand nine nine five. This took me eye. I can't tell who's made it, but this is 54,995 on a transporter T6, I guess, but it's got some serious looking off road tyres there. Even looks like it's got bead lockers on them. Awning on there. Usual VW dashboard. Very nice. And you've got a little fridge, mini grill and oven. And your rock and roll bed. 
Let's have a look inside. Oh, that's very nice, very stylish. Colin the camper. <laughs> Don't look like a Colin to me. Looks more like a Bert. Reading lights up there, plenty of headroom. There's your drop down bed. Oh, yeah, very nice. Here by the looks of it. The batteries are in there. Looks like it's got an inverter in there. Shower. Two showers. Okay, not sure why you need two showers. Eh? One's actually no, one's gas points, isn't what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's gas, isn't it? Shows how much I know about campers. So we've got a little outside shower point. It's got a jack in there. Looks like a gas control. And a water filling point. It's even got a snorkel. How much wading you'd want to do in your fifty thousand pound camper? I'm not sure, but there you go. Keeps the dust out of the engine, apparently. Oh, go back a bit more. There we are. Very nice. Well, someone said I never look at caravans. Okay, here's a caravan at a motor show. This is a Wingham Rookie L. I think the L looks like a learner plate, so. 30,495. Yeah, be some well off learner. These Wingham's are sort of. Um, well, how can I put it? Everything seems to be built of plastic. But a uh, nice table and a big lounge around here. She lights up the top. Made in Italy. Big lockers, excellent little lockers, little big lockers. Oh, yeah, this is different. Sink, 240 volts. Cupboards feel really well made. And a manual energy selection fridge. A reasonable size for such a small caravan. HPL laminates, all furniture are covered with can cane dullel and ARPAD laminates, resistant and anti-fingerproof. It's probably just as well at a show. Controls up there. More drawers down here. French bed with a bit of a cutoff and lockers up upstairs. Here's the washroom. Well, that's a quite a generous size. Yeah. And a shower at the back. I think it's got a normally have a curtain around the back there. And there's the sink and some cupboard space underneath. Big drainer tap there. But I think it's only a single drain. Can't tell. Yeah. Very good. 
looks like table obviously goes up and down whether it's a manual or an electric I don't know look at their doors though look at these hinges quite substantial looking yeah Alloy wheels. That one's locked. I can't get in there, but obviously there's a locker underneath. Yeah. Quite sure what that is. Something to do with bike rack, possibly, I'd guess. Don't know. Seven year warranty on it, it says. Toilet cassette, there's your fridge outlet and your inlet. Oop. Squeeze around here. I've got an Alco hitch lock. I know that much. And there's a locker at the front here as well. Opens up. I think that's locked, so I won't do that. So obviously that's where your gas goes. There's another Wingham here. Blimey, this is not cheap. 96,795. Got a seven-year warranty though. They have a, they're very sort of well, quite a narrow body, but it's monocoque. So it should last for a long time. So, it's quite an unusual door. I think that's a locker. It says payload 350 kilograms. I assume that's a funny little button there. Wow. I'll stop that bashing. That is a big garage. I know I keep saying that, but... Looks like you've got a table or something in there. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Quite unusual. I'm dying to have a look. Well, I think that's the biggest door bin I've ever seen. Okay. Well, instead of a window on the door, it's got a mirror. Very unusual. Step in. Whoop. Start at the back. Well, there's a single bunk, I would call it. Quite high up. Needs a ladder. Quite a little, quite a cut off on that. Assume that would give you access to the garage, but I've no idea how that opens. Again, all this use of white laminate gives it a very sort of light feel even though they've got all the door all the lights off here i don't want to keep turning all the lights on these vans because it's still early quite a big yeah that is a big washroom that's good square <laughs> massive sink look at the sink huge this is really sort of well completely different I hope you find this interesting because I'm finding this fascinating. Never really been in one of these. I saw one at the Glasgow show a couple of years ago. Didn't really have a chance to have a look in it. There were lots of people around. Now, you probably haven't realised, or I haven't, well, I only just realised, the bed comes down from there. So that's a full length bed. Presumably it drops down to about here. Two burner thing. sink, sliding windows, so that doesn't bash against the door. That's a good idea. Again, a manual in energy selection fridge, reasonable size, and you've got an adjustable table there, and your travel seats here. Obviously, if you remove that cushion there, 
but yeah, usual sort of Fiat cab. Very interesting upholstery as well, quite pleasant. Sort of map pockets and things have added on there. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely interesting this. Well worth a look. Have a look outside. Well, that's the gas locker. Very unusual. We've got these on. Oh. <laughs> I can't slam it hard enough. But it's got these unusual things here. Okay. Not sure what all that's about. But yeah. 160 brake horsepower engine. That is some price though. Wow. Yeah, here's the other side of it. Water, electric. It looks like it's got SOG fan extraction for the toilet. That's central locking. Oh, it's quite difficult to get open. There's the garage from the other side. Alloy wheels. Certainly different. Now one of our viewers said we should have a look at the orange campers. So here we are. Orange campers. Truvail. A nice French name. So this is a five-seater. It's quite unusual really because it's on a Ducato and it's got a rock and roll bed, so don't normally see that. Yeah. And pop top roof. So it gives you a bit more space being based on the Ducato, I would imagine. So yeah, five to six seats for berth and five to six berth with cab bunk. Oh yeah, this is definitely unusual. Step in. Uh, your foot cab. Two burner hob. It's a typical sort of camper layout, a little oven. A little fridge. Nicely made drawers. Obviously someone's living in this one. Yeah. Gives you an idea of what you might fit in there. Well, if you've got your drop down bed up here, it's got a couple of little lights, that's all fully lined. Tables on the side. That's out of the way. Very comfortable looking seats. And what's down there? Quite a big boot. Nice cupboards. Does give you a feeling of space here. It's, let's see, like I say, you don't see too many campers on a Ducato. But uh, quite a lot of standing space here and Headroom, of course, as you can see, miles above me. That's quite a nice place to be. Quite like this idea. Just have to duck a little bit to get out. Gas point there. Your Cadac. 54,999. Usual rear doors. Oh wow. No lockers there. No lockers there. Oh yeah, like this. You can see from that is quite a bit of space. Yeah, so this is the high top version. Obviously if you don't want the pop top roof, again it's on a Fiat, 56999. Slightly more expensive, but again, it's still five or six seats. 
uh, bespoke design, handcrafted, family run company. We'll have a look inside in a minute. Yeah. yeah, it's good because you get so much space in here. And it's a quite a huge boot. <coughs> and these lockers, very nice. Let's have a look inside because this should be similar to the pop top, but. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, plenty of standing room in here. Doesn't feel cramped at all. In fact, I think it's a huge feeling of space here. You sit on these chairs. Yeah. Got a little rail there, presumably for the table. And cutlery drawer. Another rail there, so you could have your table there as well. I guess. I don't know where the table is, but, uh, yeah. and you've got a bed above, so yeah, you've got a little bed above if you do need that, but it's nicely tucked out of the way, not taking up any space, like a little luggage shelf there, yeah, and you've got the lockers above now, so you've got a bit more locker space uh, because of these, either side, not very deep, but uh, Certainly plenty of space for your knickknacks. I'm guessing that's a huge space, yeah. So all your bedding, <laughs> you've got your aerial in there, cab aerial. But yeah, I don't like this. I can't remember who suggested me have a look at these vans, but thank you, they are very interesting. Wireless charging point there, fast charge. Lots of nice little touches here. Guess that's a spot for your ladder. So the bed must come to about here. Yeah, it's a new Fiat cab as well. On the brand new Fiat. It's nice to see. No window blinds with this, so you need a screen of some sort. Assume they would come with interior screens, but I would prefer an exterior screen. And you've got the blinds, usual sort of, yeah, fly screen. Yeah, these all sort of sight blinds or whatever they're called, sights. Yeah, I like this a lot. Right, so we're at the Inos stand and they've got one of their caravans here and it's saying what vehicles can tow it give you an idea of what we're looking at here discovery amarok gls mitsubishi's grand cherokees so seven meters long 2.7 meters high and 2.3 wide so it's not particularly wide and 62,000 so electrically operated slide outs, Alco chassis, stabiliser couplings, premium jockey wheel, master bedroom with double bed, Thetford fridge freezer, price has shown 77,840 and this is for sale, this is in available. Obviously looking at the battery there so that's your power power touch mover, battery, twin axle, TV point, Have a quick look around the outside. ATC Alco, space for two gas bottles there, it's got a prop to hold it up and quick look inside, this looks fabulous. Let's have a look. Oh wow. This is something else. 
where to start. This is part of the slide out, so you've got a great big sofa there. Got these sliding doors, sliding cupboards, TV and everything will go in there. Massive windows, and windows on the slide out. Leather, you can smell the leather. USB points, these reading lights, radios there. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Great big oven there, look at the size of the oven. Induction hob, big sink, load of workspace. So almost like a static home, this the size of it. Good sized Thetford fridge with a separate freezer compartment. And here's the bedroom. And these drawers. Just get me back. Look at that. This is definitely a home. You could definitely live in this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Have a look at the wardrobe. Oh my giddy aunt, look at this. Get the light on. Aldi heating. There's your aerial. Look at the hanging space you've got here. Yeah. It is. It is like being at home. It's probably better than being at home. And rear washroom. Always like a rear washroom. Heated towel rail. Cupboards with your Aldi heating on it. sink and a massive shower that is some shower proper vent on it as well you can see the walk round area here there's no trouble with the bed that's a full size bed no compromises here USB points either side of the bed Yeah. So look at the so look at the seating area there. Fantastic. Don't want to come out here. So that's the sort of thing you're looking to tow it with, really. That's an Amarok, isn't it? All right, Amarok. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a little thing here that says what trucks can tow our fifth wheel. This is a Celtic Rambler, sixty-five thousand pre-owned. There we go. This is 2019 Celtic Rambler and it's 82,500. 70 litre gas tank upgrade, 290 amp hour batteries, 24 inch TV, dishwasher in here, uh, 4G fixed router, air conditioning, satellite dish, alarm and tracker. So this has got everything on it. I can't wait to have a look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Where do you start? Start with the kitchen. Separate freezer compartment. Microwave at a sensible height. Now the heating controls there, sink, loads of preparation surface. Full size Thetford Caprice.
Look at the size of the TV. <laughs> That's almost as big a one we've got at home. And there's your dishwasher. Well, fantastic. Obviously all these slide outs come back in here when you're traveling, but. Oh, look. Into the bedroom. This is a real wow, isn't it? Look at that full-size bed. Little cupboards at the back there. Big roof light, big windows. Another TV in here. Switch my light on. Space here, trim my net. Full size mirror, wow, that's bright. There's your washroom, which you can obviously close off. Massive shower unit, absolutely massive. My lights had enough. But yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just enormous. Let's go out to here. Well it's certainly cheaper than buying a house. If there's just two of you, you could definitely live in this. Yeah. There's your connection point. There. Another locker under there. There's the slide out. VW Amarok. Hmm. That's what they've got in stock. Bike rack on the back, can't get round the back there, but uh, there we go. And whilst we're up there. Once you've got an awning. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I just popped in uh, to the Happy Caravanner handmade accessories. So the sort of things we're looking at are these materials and things like this. This is very useful if you perhaps put it on the side remote home by the door or perhaps in a in a washroom. Somewhere to put your shoes. We're always falling over shoes. <laughs> or you've got this that you can go over the back of the seat. And you know, pennants. Okay, you've got the basket, little baskets here. Peg bags. And you've got tablecloths as well. Quite nice tablecloths. They're washable, aren't they? So, yeah. Yes. And these pennons can be done to suit the side of your van. So a lot of people send um, a photo of the side okay. of the van. Okay, and you, you sew that? And then I sew them all on. All right. I can put people's names on, any oh, phrase, wow. any colour. It's lovely. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. There's a lot on my Instagram page. Okay. Uh, the Happy Caravana. Yeah, have you got a card? Or? Here we are. Let's do that. So, Thank you. turn it round. There we go. Teresa. Thank you, Teresa. That's Thanks very much. So much to see today. 
and so little time. Right, so this is a Rymor, Rymor, uh, Evo 77 on a Ford. This is 62,395. Two litre, 170 brake horsepower, automatic Ford. So this appeals to me straight away. And this won the awards in its category, uh, the Caravan and Motorhome Club Awards. Evo 77 plus. Gas locker. Your hookup. Not a very tall garage, but uh, certainly long enough. Rear view camera. Access to the garage from the other side. Got an under skirt locker, or skirt locker. We'll have a look inside. It's low profile. Yeah, okay. All right, okay. I might switch a light on in here. There we go. There's the Ford cab. Automatic. Very familiar with that now. Got a rear view camera screen. Cab seats, covers on it. Obviously, you've got the Ford cubby holes at the top. Another shelf, very much the same as the Bailey did. There's your lockers. Got a little seat at the side here. And your travel seats on this side. Nice little table that folds away, that's always good. Which side does it open up? Oh, I'm not going to open it up, can't, can't do these things one handed. But it looks like it's adjustable with a foot pedal, he said. Don't know how that works. Obviously above this we've got the drop down bed, so i just step backwards. Make sure there's nothing I can fall down into. There's the bed. Also, it's got the bed controls. The lights are... Oh, it's, yeah. That's a little light there. Another light there. Probably shouldn't go pressing switches. They don't know what they do. But yeah, there's your drop-down bed. That goes in there. That would shut off the door. I think that's the only thing I would say. Once you've got that down there, that'll close the door off. There's no cut-off. Which in itself is probably a good thing, but yeah, I'm not sure how you'd get out without putting the bed up again. Not that you need to, if you've got your own toilet. There's all the details anyway, if you want to pause the screen. It's M and C again, we met these yesterday outside, and this is their offering inside. Uh, can't see an oven in here. Stylish handles for the drawers. Obviously there's your sink. Flip up tap. Trimmer heating. Got a little hanging rail there. We're going to the bathroom first. The washroom. And there's your toilet. Someone started up some music so hopefully you won't be able to hear that. There we go. There's a duck board there. Yeah. There we go. And another drop down bed at the back. So it's proper four berth drop down beds. I mean, obviously, if it's just two of you, you could just use one of the drop down beds. You've got another folding table as well. 
So we've got two tables, two beds, good size freezer, that's an automatic one. It's a Thetford unit, I think. And it's got that drawer unit there. Uh -oh. I'm gonna say there's no oven, but the oven's sort of tucked away in the sort of lounge area really, but a little Thetford oven. And there's your hanging space. That's a good size hanging space. And a little lounge. Oh, it's not a bad size lounge either. There we go. And we drop down bed above it. Yeah, let's see why it won the awards. There's a lot in this motor. Yeah. Little bungee cords for hanging your your magazines up on. A couple of coat hooks. Yeah. Fly screen on the door. Yeah, there's a lot to like about this. Please do not move the beds in the vans. That's one reason I try not to put the beds down. People will often say it'd be nice to see the beds down. Well, it would, but you <laughs> can't keep doing that when you're at a show. So this is the manual Rymor Seal 12P Plus 2023. That's a mouthful, 57495 on a Fiat. There we go. That's it. Have a look inside. People are starting to arrive now, so the noise level's gone up. Very similar, I think, to the Ford. Let's have a look. Oh no, this is quite different. This one, quite a different layout. So double dinette on the new Fiat cab. Curtains, no blinds. And table there. That's quite a nice dining area. But there's no real sort of lounge area in here, apart from the bed, obviously. Be up on the bed, I think, if you were lounging about. There's a drop down bed. Again, that comes over the door. I don't know how you cope with that, the bed down. You could, suppose you could duck and get out of the door, maybe. And you've got kitchen units. You've got an oven and a microwave way down there. And presumably somewhere to put your telly in that. But yeah, so here's the rest of the kitchen. Three burner hob. Smallish fridge and drawers. There's quite a cut off on that bed. Quite wide up the front, but a biggish cut off. Lockers above and a sort of a shelf area up the top there. Sort of more lockers here, a USB point at the back. I assume that this is four berth. Here's the wash area. So you've got a toilet at the front. And sink. And a mirror cupboard. And going through to the back. Can't quite see the I won't have to step in there. There's your shower in there. Shut that off. This door here is a, so that's a little bit narrow for me anyway. Yeah. But considering this is 57495, that's quite a lot of motor for the money. Got these sort of covers on there which are look like seat covers. I suppose they are covers, that's why. But quite nice, feel quite nice. Obviously electric bikes are in vogue now. This is North Yorkshire electric bikes. Quite like that one. 
with the fat tyres. Yeah. So we're on the Etrusco stand and this is the Etrusco 69 SB 3500 with a payload of 620 kilograms rear twin beds on this one 69995 so five or less than 70,000 huge garage it's the first thing I spot wow <laughs> lots of space for your clubber and your motorbikes 150 pound 150 kilos rather 50 pounds yeah gas locker LPG and a toilet cassette yeah so I've got awning on the outside let's have a look inside camper van uh, sort of layout I always think these are the travel seats and table a little dicky seat there nice little pocket very stylish seats Let me put some light on this there we go uh, no blinds on the windows but you have got cab curtains and this is an automatic Fiat the older style Fiat, but it is a nine speed automatic. Okay. Little locker above. I'm standing underneath the drop down bed. Moving back. Try not to fall down any holes. There's the drop down bed. Again, covers the door. There's the TV area. All the controls, freezer compartment, this is the Thetford unit, very nice. Here's your sink area, and Thetford triplex, oh duplex, beg your pardon, Thetford duplex, little locker there. These lockers look like. Okay. Right, let's turn round, have a look at the beds. Two steps up. Covers on. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, that's all right. We just think there's a sitting up test here to be done, isn't there? See how much headroom you've got. Curtains. Close it off. That's not too bad. You might need a, a ladder if you pull this centre unit out and make up the, the middle of the, the bed. Obviously it gives you a big garage underneath. Another. Some other heat, heating unit in there. Massive cupboard there. There's your consumer units in here, so it is. And presumably, this is your wash area. Yeah, it's got these panels that close off. Yeah. Oh, it's a swing wall. It is a swing wall. I can pick that. It's really difficult to do. There we go. So it's a swing wall washroom. It gives you the shower unit. Yeah. Right. Okay. Go. The cupboard there. Okay. Right. Don't travel with a full toilet. Okay. Yeah, I've got the 
total cool there. DRW. Asset bottles. Yeah, I think I'm going to make this the last one, but this is a leisure trekker. I tried to film this earlier, but it was locked up. It's got a boot on it, this one. Right. I think it's really only access to the toilet and a little bit of locker space there. Barbecue point. It's on obviously on the long wheelbase. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, so quite nice L-shaped sofa. I don't think there's any travel seats here, unless I'm wrong. That obviously pulls out into the bed, so quite a nice simple layout on a Persia. Weird, you get the single armrests on these seats. I don't know why they think you only need one armrest. Nice big windows. There's a lot of space in here. Feels very spacious for a panel van. It's uh, interesting. 240 volt double socket with a double USB. And TV point and your lights there. Quite a lot of kitchen space. That's good. This is quite a big area for a kitchen in a panel van. Three burner hob and Thetford triplex. And domestic fridge. There we go. Switch the light on. There we are. Another locker here. Slidey one that actually slides. Always good. And a bit of a wet room with a drop down sink. Yeah, not a huge amount of space here, but there's more space in the lounge because of it. There's your hanging space. Up there. But it, you know, if you don't use the shower that often, that's not bad. It's quite a sizable space, standing room area. Yeah, but look at the space in here. It does feel like it's a lot of space here. So lots of space for lounging about. Quite a handsome colour. There's your drains under there. It's a mains 240 volt, it's got LPG. Yeah. This was a bit of a stealth van being all in black. Okay, well here's a stand I've been looking to see. Hello, you're Lee, are you? There's a face. All right. Nice. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Good. Yeah. This is the this is the goods, is it? It is. Okay. And these are all 3D printed. Yeah. Basically, you fit on the clip inside of your motorhome. Yeah. Your sat nav, that's a phone holder. Yeah. Your sat nav, if it's a Garmin unit, uh, yeah. it will fit onto the back of, the back of that. Of that so that's just the socket that Garmin normally provide anyway, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's as simple as that. That. You stick it in your clip. And that's it. And off you go. Yeah, it is nice and simple. I think when I saw these on Facebook, I thought that, yeah. that seems like a really good idea. I'm getting loads of positive feedback about it. Yeah, yeah. But Lee's kindly offered to let me test one of these and this is for the Tura 2 yep. sat nav yep. so we're going to get be using that on our tours and we'll let you know how we get on yes. yeah and that's some of the things that you can find here but yeah, yeah. and you do and you're doing a, a cup holder you said there and there's a universal sat nav mount he's doing there yeah. clamps with a Motome tablet holder. Oh well, it's all interesting stuff, and look forward to trying it out. Yeah. 
Right. A few accessory stalls here. Right, on my way out now. Um, pulled a few vans of battery, went flat, I had to change it. So that's probably an indication I filmed way too much. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and we'll catch up with you on the next one.